Hey everybody, welcome to You Can Cube. These are videos on how to solve Rubik's Cubes. Uh, today, this is our very first video, and we are going to learn how to solve the 3x3 three three original Rubik's Cube. Now, this is the one that everyone is familiar with. I'm sure you've seen these before. If you're starting out here, this is a great place to start. Um, and once you learn how to do this one, you can learn all of the others. So, without further ado, let's get into it. First off, we're going to start with the faces of the cube. Now, if you notice, this video is just like if you're holding it in your face. Um, if we're looking at this cube like this, then this face is going to be the front face, and it moves like so. This face is the top face up here. This is the left face, and this will be the right face. This is going to be the bottom face, and this one will be the back face. We're not going to be using the back face very much. Another thing is, we can turn these sides this way and this way. And if you notice, the center will never move. No matter what you do, the center is always going to stay the same. When we're turning it, we can turn it in two ways. First, we can go this way. This, of course, is clockwise. And this way is going to be counterclockwise. So the way that we say it in cubing is this is going to be regular. And we won't say anything about that. It's just regular. Um, when we go this way, it's going to be inverted. We are inverting the turn. And so this is true for all of the faces if you're holding it like this. So this would be front. This would be front inverted. Same with the top. The top would be going clockwise like this. So this would be top or up. And this would be up inverted like so, up inverted. This one would be right, right inverted. And this one is like this. So this is left. And this is left inverted. So that's what you need to know. How about we mix this thing up? OK. Good and mixed. So here's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to pick one flat side. It can be any side you want. And how do you know which one is which side? Well, remember, the centers don't move. So we're going to start with white, and we're going to solve all of these. And we're going to solve all of these. So where do we begin? Well, we're going to start with the center and make a cross then the corners. So what we're going to do first is we're going to look for pieces on the edges of this face. So we want everything to here to be white. And we know that on this side, it should be red because the center is red. And this side should be orange because the center is orange. So if I were to look for this piece, for example, I'd have to look for a, a white and orange edge. So let's look for that right now white and orange. It's got to be here somewhere. Oh, there it is. White and orange. So I have my white and orange piece, and I have to get it all the way over here. So I need to get it on the orange side, wherever that is. So here's the orange side. Here's the piece. I'm going to bring it over here like so, so that orange is lined up with orange, and we need to get this piece right up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this face around until it hits the white side. Now, everything is where it needs to be, but of course, it's not the right color. I need white here and orange here. So how do I do that? Pretty easy. Front inverted. Then you want to do one up. So it's here. Then we want to twist it back up. Then we want to twist it back here. And now it's perfect. So I'm going to do that one more time. Front inverted, up, left inverted, up inverted. And there you go. So 
now we have one piece here. It's good. Uh, we also have this already made for us. That's pretty lucky for us. That's good. Uh, and now we need to find this piece and this piece. So here we're looking for white and red. Let's go to white and red. White and red. Here we go. Now, white and red, you have red here, you have white here. That's excellent news for us because all we need to do is twist it around and it's perfectly in place. Okay? And now we have one more piece, which is blue and white, which is right here. So let's go ahead and get this piece over to this side. Oh, but look, we have this piece already done. So if I just do this and bring this here, I've messed up this piece. So I can't do that. So what I'm going to do is this piece is going to come down. And I messed this piece up. So I'm going to twist this here, get it out of the way, and then bring it back up. And now it's fine. Now I can play around with it, bring it this way, line it up, and twist it. And there you go. We have our cross completed. Not just the cross, but this and this is also solved. This and this is also solved. This and this is also solved. So that's your first step on how to make the cross. So our next job is to find these corners. Uh, we're just going to find white and then this color, this color in this corner and do that for all of them. And we have solved this, this entire layer. So let's look for uh, white, green, and red. We're looking for a white, green, and white, red corner. White, green, red. We're going to take him and we're going to bring him where he needs to go. So where is white, green, and red? We're going to look for white, green, and red. Red, green, white. Okay, look. He's here. He has to be up here. So that's a good beginning point. We want it directly below where it has to go. Right here, right here. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the following algorithm, which is with the top part here and the piece we want to move in the corner, bottom corner, we're going to go right inverted. And then with our pinky, we're going to move this right inverted down, right, and then other pinky, down. And look, it's already moving. It's not where it needs to be. But this algorithm is pretty interesting because if you do this six times, it will go right back to where it was in the beginning. So let's keep on doing it. Right inverted, down, right, down inverted, right inverted, down, right, down inverted, and we've made it. So keep on doing that algorithm until you solve this corner. It will eventually happen. Okay, now let's do it for the other ones. We're looking for here, orange, green, white. Orange, green, white. We're lucky. Perfectly right where it needs to be. And we're just going to keep doing the last algorithm. Right inverted down, right down. Down inverted. Right inverted down, right 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 down inverted. And there you go. So we have two more to go. Let's look for blue, orange, and white. Blue, orange, and white is right over here. I need him below where he needs to go. So I'm going to twist this around until he's there. Check. And go back to the algorithm. Done, and we have one more to go. So if you notice, this is where it needs to be, but it's not down here. So let's solve this by just doing, twisting it down, twisting it away, and then twisting what we have back up so we don't mess it up. Then we come back here, put it right below where it needs to go, and same algorithm. And there you go. So not only have you solved this front face, We've also solved this entire top layer along with this 
center. So you have a T shape here, T shape here, T shape here, T shape here, and complete face solved. Our next step is to solve this center layer. So almost done. Here is where algorithms start to get kind of important for the three by three cube, but overall uh, later cubes, it's not gonna be that important. We can do without them, sort of. So what we need to do is we need to take these edge pieces from all over here and put them where they belong. This center is yellow. At this stage, we don't want to mess with anything that has yellow on it because it's not going to belong in this row. Okay, um, so here's what we're going to do. Let's start with finding in this top layer things that do not have yellow on it. Yellow here, I'm not going to bother with this one. Yellow here, don't care. Yellow here, no. Okay, so look, this one has no yellow. It's red and green. Red and green goes green, red. So it goes right here. We need to put it right in that edge. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this face green. We're going to bring it to the green side. And our job is to find a way to take this and put it over here. In order to do that, you have to remember an algorithm. This one is kind of long, so um, you know you might need to write this down or pause the video. Uh, the algorithm goes as follows: up inverted, left, up inverted, up left, up front. Up inverted, front inverted. And now look, you have this whole piece right where it belongs. If that was too fast, don't worry. You can just go back to the video and watch that again. Um, we're going to keep on doing it. So you're going to see it done this way and this way. It's the same algorithm, just reversed if you go from here to here and here to here. So if you remember one way, you can remember the other way, hopefully. Um, so let's keep going. We have orange and green. So let's put orange where it belongs. Where is orange? Orange is right here. I need to bring orange over here, just like before. Up inverted, left, up, left, up, front, up inverted, front inverted. And now we have it in the right spot. Okay, let's keep on going. Yellow and red doesn't belong there. So let's look for something else orange and blue. So let's take orange over to the orange side and blue has got to go over here. So we're going to do the reverse or the inverted, the mirror version of this algorithm, which goes as follows. Up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. And there you go. Got that piece over there. So let's see what else we can do. We need to do one more and it is blue and red. So blue, bring it to the blue face. And now we're going to move this over here, just like what we did before. Here we go again. Up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. And now check that out. We have all of this center layer completed. Two out of three done so far. I think we're doing pretty good. Okay, so we're on our way to completing this thing. We're very, very close. We'd only have a few more steps to go. The problem is the more you solve, the harder it's going to be to move these pieces without wrecking what you have down here. So keep that in mind. You're going to have to use some more algorithms. And this is the layer with the most algorithms out of all of the algorithms uh, we have seen so far. Um, this layer has the most and the most complicated. So what we're going to do first is we're going to look at the top. So our front is here. Okay. Our top is up here. We're going to look at what shape we have with the center piece. Do we have just a yellow center? Do we have a straight line like this? Do we have a cross like this? Or do we have an L shape? So in this case, we have a flat line. We have a straight line, one, two, three. 
don't worry about the corners right now. We're just looking at the crosses. So in order to uh, keep moving, what we want is we want to do what we did with the, with this piece. Is start with the cross and then move to the corners. Okay, doing the same thing here, but it's a bit more complicated. So if we have a straight line like this, we want the straight line to look like so. So we're facing it uh, horizontal instead of vertical. Okay, then we're going to do this following al algorithm, and we want to do it until we get a cross shape up here. If you have one yellow, or if you have an L shape, you're going to do the same algorithm. Um, just remember, if the L, if you have an L shape, make sure the L is backwards, like this. That's when you're starting. Don't have it like this. Don't have it any other way. Just have it backwards. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do front, right, up right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. Now look what happened. Look what happened. So we have a cross here, and yet we haven't messed up the rest of the cube. So we have exactly what we need to keep going, and uh, just do that algorithm until you get the cross shape. For the next few uh, layer, for the next few corners, um, the pieces, what we need to do first is we need to make sure that um, this is all lined up. Now, in my case, it is. It's lined up perfectly. Um, but in case it's not, sometimes you might have this one and this one by itself, and this one and this one are messed up. Um, mine are perfect right now, uh, but what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to do a quick algorithm uh, to make sure that all of your crosses line up here as well as on the top. So red is lined up, green is not lined up, blue is not lined up, orange is not lined up. Uh, that's because I had it fixed before and I unfixed it to show you the algorithm. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for at least two of these lined up. Okay, so let's look for, let's just keep turning. We have blue here, orange messed up, green messed up red messed up. How about orange here, green here? So look, we have two lined up like this. Sometimes you'll have two like this, or two like this, or two like this. In this case, we have one, and we have two. And we're going to hold it so that this is on the side here, and the other one is on the back here. So these two are going to be messed up. If you have uh, this one and this one the same, you want to make it sure so that they're on the sides. And this one is a messed up one. So, um, right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right. And we're going to try it again. Let's see what happens. Up, red and blue, green and orange have all lined up. So the cross is now 100% complete, and we can move on to these corners. OK, so we're on the home stretch. All we have to do is get these corners solved. In order to do that, you have to first find uh, all of the corners in the same spot that they belong, even if they're messed up. So I have, uh, for example, um, I want green, orange, and yellow right here. But green, orange, and yellow is all the way over here. So I need to get this over here, even if it's messed up. And we can do that in one algorithm. This is the hardest algorithm you're going to remember. Um, first, we're going to look for a corner that is in the right spot. If you can't find one, don't worry. Just start anywhere. But if you have one, um, let's see if I have one. I do. Red, yellow, green goes right here, but it's messed up. So I'm going to start here with this at my thumb on my right. And here's how we do the algorithm. Here we go. Up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. And let's check it again. Yellow, red, blue. Look, it's right where it belongs. Same with this one, and same with this one. 
Now all you have to do is do that algorithm maybe two to three times and you will have everything where it belongs even if it is messed up and that's great news. We're almost there. So we are now at the last stage of solving this cube and all we have to do is get these corners where they belong and we have everything where it needs to be. All we have to do is sort them. So we have one corner already complete just naturally. Sometimes this will happen, sometimes it won't. Um, it's great if, the, if it did happen. Uh, here's what we're going to do now. We are going to start at the solved corner and we are going to twist everything with the up. Uh, we're going to twist it up like this and turn it around so that there's always a messed up piece in this corner here. And we're going to do that first algorithm, or maybe second algorithm, that we learned on how to move a corner cube to the top. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. Right inverted, up, I mean bottom, or down. <laughs> um, right, down inverted. And we're going to keep on doing it until this corner is solved. So here we go. Not yet. Not yet. Up. Perfect. Okay. Now what we're going to do, look at that. Looks messed up, right? Well, we're going to turn it again, just this one, and do the same thing. Okay, and we're going to do it one more time, and here we go. And with one turn, everything is solved. And that's how it's done. So that's it for me uh, on this video. Now you know how to solve a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube. Um, be sure to check out my other videos. I'm going to be solving 2x2 two two all the way up to 8x8 eight eight and 9x9 nine nine and, you know, 13x13 13 13 if I ever get one. Uh, so be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video, which is probably going to be the 4x4. Four four. Take care, guys.